hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to inherit an existing controller in Ubuntu. so regarding controller we have already made all two videos so yet if you haven't seen those videos you can watch those and get a, an idea about how to create a new controller in Ubuntu. so in this video we will see suppose if i go to the website so in the database i have already installed the e-commerce module so if i go to the website from here you can see different controllers are available there like if i go to the shop you can see the page will be slash shop so this is a controller so if i search for the code inside the code and to find in path so i have already searched so here you can see this is the control of the shop so what we will do is that we will see how we can inherit this controller inside the website sale module that is website underscore sale is the technical name of the module e-commerce so currently if i put a print here print automates so what i have done is i have just added a print inside the existing controller and if i reload the screen you can see these will get printed inside the log so i'll just uh, clear the log files and if i reload the page if i reload this page that is slash shop you can see automates has got printed in the log so what we will do is that we will see how we can inherit this controller inside our module so we will see we will continue the development with our custom module that is om hospital that is auto development tutorials which is available in github as well as auto app store so in the controllers we have already got main.py which is imported inside the init so you can see from dot import main so here inside this file we will inherit this controller so for inheriting this controller you should know the module name that is you can see this is inside website sale controllers main so what you have to do is that i will just search inside an existing code find in path from odoo.addons website sale so this will let me copy an existing sample website sale so you can see there is already a lot of so what i will do is i will just copy this sample from here so you can see this is the sample from website underscore sale to digital so i'll just copy this code and i will put it here inside our controller that is inside om hospital so i'll just paste it here so first of all what you do is that you can see we are importing from odoo odoo dot add-ons from add-ons we are importing website sale you can see inside the website sale the corresponding controller is defined defined so we have to import from odoo dot add-ons dot website sale dot controller so you can see website sale dot controllers dot main in which file this is existing so this controller is existing inside main dot py so you have to import like from odoo dot add-ons dot website sale dot controllers dot main then you have to import the class so if i scroll up you can see the class name is website sale so you have to import that so if i search website sale in the code what is that class you can see what is that class you can see this is the corresponding class so i am importing this class here so what i have done here is that from odoo dot addons dot website sale dot controllers dot main import website sale so this has been imported successfully then i have to rewrite this class so i will just copy this name website sale i will give it as the class name and you have to specify the imported name inside this class so i will paste this here website sale so for to avoid the confusion i will just give the class name as website sale inherit website sale inherit so just to avoid confusion so what you have imported is website sale so this has to be given inside the bracket now we have to rewrite this function so if i go to the original file that is website sale controls main you can see if i search for diff shop which is the function this function i'll just copy this control c and i will paste it in here inside our new class so i just paste it here then you have to super so you can type res equal to super so you can just auto select the second one which is the super code so i'll just select this so you can see super i'm going to super you have to specify the class name this is website sale inherit you have to specify it here comma self and you have to pass these parameters so i'll just copy this from here copy and you have to paste it here inside this 
thing. So I have super this thing and I have to return these errors. So that's done. So this is only what we have to do. First of all, what we have to do is that from Odoo add-ons website sale, that is module name. This is the controllers, insert controllers. We have main.main .main file. From that file, we are importing a class name website sale. Then you have to specify it here. Then if I print something here, print inherited auto sale. Inherited auto mates. I'll just give it like this. And here you can see a underline. So I'll just put an empty space here. And if I reload the screen, that is I'm restarting the service. So earlier when we have checked, you can see this print that is print automates has got printed in the log in the video we have inherited the class and added a new print that is inherited automates so let's see what happens if you reload this controller so you can see controller is reloading and if you go to the log you can see both automates and inherited automates is coming so this is coming from our file so this is how you can inherit an existing controller in Odoo. and you can see if you print the rest you can see all the values coming inside the Super. So if I print the res here, I'll just restart the service as I have made changes inside the Python. And if I reload the screen again, that is reload the corresponding controller, you can see we are getting response 0 bytes 200. Okay, so you are not getting anything in the res. So that's all about this video. If you have any queries or if you have any suggestions or feedbacks, don't hesitate to tell it to us. You can reach us over the email that is automates at gmail.com or you can connect us over the social medias like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. So that's all about this video. Thank you.